We are Team Rice, Renewable and Integrated Systems of Energy. Um, I'm Sergio Baltadano, this is Michael Enriquez, and uh, Bubba Carcixi, our advising professor, Dr. Andres Termante. We are working interdisciplinary with um, environmental engineering. Uh, the students are Paola Davalos and Natalia Duque, and their advising professor is Dr. Baron Tanson. <laughs> so uh, our purpose for our project is to provide an integrated solutions for uh, some of um, mankind's uh, most pressing issues, such as energy, water security, sanitation, and plastic waste. I want to point out that this project has been a work in progress ever since 2012, where Dr. Germante introduced a portable energy, uh, integrated energy unit in the Odin Brush competition. Uh, he um, was able to place fourth place. Um, as well, we took it a further, um, 2013, um, my group and I, we went ahead and took this integrated for, um, energy unit and specified it in a region, um, which was Haiti, for uh, post-earthquake earthquake, um, damage, um, with the, include, the included of energy production. Um, and in recent um, events, we were in a uh, flash conference for wind mitigation. We are we're working collaboratively with another team group here in the, for the senior design class, um, Marcos, Joel, and Junior. And we were uh, we received recognition and worked collaboratively with them in the design of a wind turbine for uh, that can be applied in an existing gutter system. All right. So we have four main objectives. Uh, our one of our main objectives is to create an innovative recycler of plastic, which will essentially be able to process some of the most common thermal plastics um, and make it ready for 3D printing. Our second objective is to be able to take these, the resulting plastic, and uh, make sure that it's of of high quality so that, it, so that it can be used for 3D printing as well as make sure that the, three, that the recycling process is consistent and reliable. Uh, third objective is to create a pico-hydro turbine which will also be manufactured using these uh, recycled plastics. And our final objective is to collect data from the mobile energy unit to determine efficiency. All right, so we have here the recycler at the bottom. So this recycler is going to process the plastic that we collect from various places. So this recycler is going to be the basis for a manufacturing tool for sustainable communities. This recycler is also going to be used to print our pico turbine that's going to be installed at the bottom of a rain collection system that includes a gutter integrated wind turbine at the top of the roof. And the waste coming from the house is going to be processed by the environmental team. So this is our tentative timeline. What we want to have is the recycler built by the beginning of January, so we can start the testing as soon as possible. Okay, so this is our proposed recycler design, and this is right here is a tool steel shredder, which can grind up to some of the toughest plastics. And as soon as the plastic is ground up to the appropriate size, it will be dropped off here in this hopper which will then funnel through into, into the shaft, which has a helical rod, which is going to be driven by this motor here. Uh, as, as the plastic bits travel through this pipe here, it's going to get to the section that's going to be heated. And at that, point, at that moment, it'll be, the plastic will become molten. And as plastic fills the, the chamber, it'll extrude out of the nozzle here, which has a diameter of 1.75 millimeters, which is that, uh, that, the, that the diameter necessary for 3D printing. And as the, the filament extrudes and comes to this area, it's going to be cooled using these two fans so it can retain its diameter. And at that moment, it'll start to, to wind up in this spool here at a constant rate. And at the root of it all, we have this enclosure here, which will house all of the electronics, as well as the microcontroller, which will be able to uh, change the, the motor speeds and, and the heating element, the temperature rather, according to which plastic we'll be processing. Okay, once we have our recycled plastic and the filament, we're going to make up some test specimens according to ASTM standard D638 uh, type 1, which is for semi-rigid and rigid plastics. Um, we will test these um, using a tensile testing machine here in FAU laboratories, um, and uh, to, we hope to gain to get um, accurate results of modulus of elasticity, yield strength, ultimate strength, and strength, so we can have uh, reliable and safe use of our products. So this is the purpose of system design. So what we came up with is a belt on wheel to make use of the head elevation in low flow scenarios. So we have here the belt on wheel that's going to be specified according to Mike Eisenrich books MHPG series 9 volume 1. So what we have is the belt on wheel connected to a generator to convert the energy to electricity. And this belt on wheel is located at the bottom of the dump screw system as you can see here. All right, so in order to optimize our designs, we will be using ANSYS as well as SOLIDWORKS uh, to, to ensure quality products, as well as uh, analyzing the resulting uh, recycled polymers uh, using tensile and thermal properties. 
and of course we'll be getting gathering experimental data with uh, using the portable energy unit and the FIU solar house as well. Any questions? Okay, could you go ahead to your uh, timeline, please, so that means in sure. the morning you can actually watch like this. Okay. Again, same thing. You can click reports, deadlines, and you can remove the days row. Yeah, you said we can remove the reports? Yes. Okay. <coughs> uh, the tasks, maybe you just put it on one column yes. rather than putting next to the. Right. All the tasks should be left justified in, in a column by itself. Mm -hmm. And the bar chart should be from that column moving to the right. Yeah. And you can do it today, days from there, Monday to Tuesday. Do you need them? No, not necessarily. No. Okay, then. And what about the font size? Did you put size? the cost analysis? Yeah, the font size is. Can you read it? <coughs> no, font size. Font size? No, yeah. she can read it. Yeah, well, maybe two sizes greater. Okay. Bigger sizes. Cost analysis is included in the report. But you need it there too. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So far we're around uh, seven hundred and thirty eight dollars and uh, we recently um, also got uh, sponsored by a local civic engagement. Uh, did you space did you mention that in your presentation? Not in the presentation. You need to in the yes. <laughs> well, I have been folks are gonna be focusing on stuff like that. You need to that uh, that is a positive point that someone is sponsoring. So, we'll, we'll definitely add that. It's definitely hard to compress all this information in five minutes, mm -hmm. but we'll, we'll find a section and we'll, we'll work with it. I mean, just a, one or two words saying so this is being sponsored. We'll by have people. a slide and then quickly go through it maybe for a minute. If there are questions, you can always go back and bring a slide back to, you to answer the question. But have a slide ready. How much time you spend on the slide is a matter of you managing that right. so you stay within the five minutes. Or somewhere on the side, you can just write uh, sponsored by at the beginning. Uh, okay, yes. So you don't even have to talk about it. If time is a constraint for you. So. Go back uh, to the beginning for me again, please, because I. Uh, uh, very beginning? Hey, that slide. Hold on. Think cool. back. No. <laughs> that one there. So there are only three of you. Where are the other two? The other two girls are um, since um, they they will be here for the final presentation, but uh, uh, Dr. Termante advised us that they were, they may not be required here to, for this preliminary. Uh, so my question then is, how do you factor in their time into the into the five minute presentation? Um, well, from my belief, the, the last presentation is twenty minutes. So we can no, 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 no. presentation? No, 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 no. The presentation on the 4th of December is exactly the same yeah, timeline so we're going to have to work and just uh, mention what they're, they're working on tentatively and just focus on the more of the mechanical How was this time here today? I was seven. Uh, I was seven. So you're over time already? Yeah. Over time. So when you factor in those two, you've got a challenge. Yes, definitely. But here, like we just mentioned, their part really quickly. So they take care of the waste coming from the house, the between gray and black water. So if anyone needs to, you know. Okay. So then, in the opening, in your opening comments, then you need to say that you three are going to present, and those two are available for questions. So you're not going to fit them into the five minutes. Okay. But then, if questions comes up on the civil engineering side, that they're going to be in the audience. So yes, right. okay, you you can handle it that way. Okay. Uh, you agree with that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Right, One quick question, sorry. Why can't they come? Well, today they were they, they were No, uh, yeah, not today, but next week. But no, next week they'll be here. That's a, a yeah, yeah. All right. They're, they're, they're going to be here to answer questions. Sorry. Okay. All right. Go yeah. to the next slide for me again, please. The next one. Yes. Yeah, we spoke about that already. Uh, that's okay. All right. Uh, what are we dealing with here? Some of the slides has too much text. Yeah. So. This is one of those. No, no, Sorry. not this one. Oh, one Where are you doing that testing? The laboratory's here, hopefully. Um, the laboratory's here? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who runs that? With your permission. All right. With your permission. Is that machine? I'm just curious. I came at the right time. <laughs> All right. You're not leaving, are you? No, no. no. Okay. <laughs> Go to the next one. We have the micro tensile testing. <laughs> okay. 
next one. Okay, and all these figures, uh, they're not your own, right? No. We so try to include the... A citation. By the end, we can have our own uh, figure item to this generated right now. So we don't need to have this figure anymore before the presentation. But the generator is going to be specified. Well, it doesn't hurt to have some graphics, but you need to cite them. Okay. Do we put a citation right at the bottom? Or? Yes, right at the bottom. Just courtesy of level. Yeah, exactly. Well, not courtesy of, but got that. They didn't give you a courtesy, right? Anyway, it's fine. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I, I was just... Yeah. And I know what you're saying. Okay, and do, don't use Wikipedia. I, I still see some Wikipedia on the reports. And Google, please. And uh, not you, and in general, there are other things, so I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. I have no further comments. Do you have kids? Any other questions? Maybe. Four minutes, you can ask questions more. No, no, it's okay. Let's move on. Okay, thank you very much. Okay.